If you're about to get some comic books ready to be sent to be graded, or you just got some in the mail, this is a must-watch video to help you from making some of the bigger mistakes you may later regret. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And today, I'm going to help out collectors, whether it's your first day of collecting or your 1,001st day of collecting. Um, help you from making some mistakes that I see all the time when I watch other people's videos. Now, I'm not going to have anybody in particular that I'm going to be pointing out because I've seen this on dozens upon dozens of comic book videos from people ranging from the inexperienced to the expert in comic book collecting. And this is a must-watch video to help you get better chances of getting your books graded or finding out later on that the book is not as valuable as you would think. So I'm going to use this example of this book. So please, this might be a long video, but it will be worth it. So please share it if you think it's beneficial. All right. So as we can see here, we have Marvel Spotlight on the Moon Knight issue number 28, which is his first solo appearance. Now, this is not a major, you know, key issue, but still a desirable book that many people want. Now, on first inspection of this book, it looks to be in really nice shape. I mean, it looks like it's got a very glossy, very sharp colored book. The yellows look pretty darn good. Corners look nice. So this is what I see all the time. Well, not all the time, but a lot of times on comic book videos. Especially if somebody's about to get something graded or they just get, did an unboxing and they want to give their own personal evaluation of what they think the grade is. They'll go like this. All right, well, we have the cover. They'll show... The corner, they'll show the edges, and they'll look at the spine and say, all right, looks pretty good. I grade this book a 9.0. Now, on the surface, they might be really convinced that this is a 9.0. And this is the biggest mistake that I see so many people make. So, if you are going to get your books about to be sent to be graded, doesn't matter what grading company, or you just got your books in the mail, you want to inspect this book further than just what so many people do, and that is by checking the front of the cover and checking the spine. So let's get some closer details into this book. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice right here, that is an ink stain. That is bleeding through the book. That is going to lower the grade. As you could see along here, there's three little spots where the lip has been bent a little bit. Now, the good part is it doesn't break color, so you can get this book pressed, but only if you're aware of it and only if you go to get the book pressed will you fix that problem. And a lot of times you'll see this here because especially when people read, a lot of people grab it from here and they pull and that leaves that little bend. So let's check also. As we go down the spine, I keep saying spine, but as we go down to the corner here, notice there is some color break creases that may not have been easy to see from a distance because this has blue and white all around it. And you can see there's a lot of white lines. So if you just look at a picture, especially on eBay, for example, that might look like part of the artwork. It's not. So if you look along the spine, looks pretty flat, but you could see right here, where it says action, and especially where it says first time, because it's more noticeable. There's some color break creases, and there's one right here. A little bit harder to see, again, because it's going against the white background. Now, even with that, many people will stop and say, all right, this book is, even with those things, they might look at the cover, they might look along the spine and say, all right, this is an 8.5. Well, this is what you got to do, and here's the first thing. This is key if you want to get the best grades for your books and end up paying for what you thought you paid for, or even if you did a trade, because this is where the majority of the problems lie. And this is what so many people just don't do, because I've seen people make videos where they say, all right, 
looked at all this, said it's about a 9.0, 8.5, 9.0. I'm going to send this in the get graded, and they send it like this. This is one of the biggest mistakes people make, and we're going to do a lot of this. So please do this with your books, whether you're sending them to get graded or you just got them in from a trade on eBay, whatever. So here's the back of the book. Now, from a distance, it looks nice and white. Looks like everything's great. Now, you do notice a lot of the books that have advertisements, especially the older books, have a lot of white in the background. Now, what does that do? Well, before we get into that, I want you to see, remember what I was talking about on the front? It's right here also bleeding through. So it goes all the way through. That is going to lower the grade. Now, notice these brown spots. That's called foxing, so you could see it right there. It goes all the way down the book. That's basically bacteria that is ultimately destroying the book. And it goes all the way around the book. Now, one of the biggest mistakes you'll see on eBay, eBay sellers, especially the dishonest ones, now, of course, not everybody does this, but they will only show the front of the book. They will only show the picture of the front of the book. Why? Because a lot of times the majority of the problems are on the back. So let's go into it a little bit further. Now you want to take the book out of the bag and inspect it. So I want you to see something right here. That so many people will not pay attention to. And again... I'm not talking about newbies, because newbies, they're definitely not going to see this stuff. But I've seen experienced people not do this. It's going to be hard to see, but take my word for it. Right here, and this is on several pages, you probably see it right there. See along there? That's a fold, a little bend in the pages. That lowers the grade of the book. That's something that you may not notice. See over here. Page number... 22. Now that's such small print, it's not going to pick up with the camera, but take my word for it. That is a clear number page that says 22. Here, notice it's darker because it's blotched out. You cannot read the number 23. So the ink smeared, totally taking the, the number away. Also, look here. Now try and close in. See all the color smears? That happens sometimes with the panels of these books is, especially with dark, rich colors, and especially with lots of blacks, they tend to smear. And also, again, look right there. That's what I was talking about on the front and the back. It goes all the way through, and it does affect the pages. So if you inspect the book, you want to make sure coupons are still in the book because of the fact that, um, especially in the Bronze Age books, there are a bunch of books that have Marvel stamps, and a lot of people cut those out, and that we will devalue the book. Look here. See this advertisement? Look at all that fading of the blue. It's not solid anymore. That's going to affect the grade. Again, right there. See that fold? A pressing may help it, it may not. It's even more prevalent here. So... These are the things you have to be very careful about. You also have to make sure you check the centerfold. Because you want to make sure not only are the staples intact, but are they nice and shiny? Are they silver in color? Or are they black? Are they staining? In other words, have they been rusted? That's going to affect it. And look over here. These are things that are going to prevent the book from being a 9.8 and a 9.6 and again the fold goes along here so it's pretty much every single page so sometimes you will even see right at the bottom here bring it to the camera there's a tiny little rip right on this one little page it only goes up maybe about a millimeter and a half right here those are going to affect the grade of the book so, especially if you are buying something on eBay or doing a trade or Facebook, Craigslist, what have you. The good thing about especially buying on eBay, and I tell this all the time, 
is the fact that they have eBay protection, buyer's protection program, but it's only lasting for 30 days. PayPal also has a buyer protection program, which lasts up to six months. Now, if you were to get this book, and maybe somebody was selling it on an online auction, or you got it on eBay or whatever, bought it off of somebody on a trade in YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or whatever, and they show you the front of the book and say it's really great. Well, if you don't take it out, or seven months later, you take it out of the sleeve to find all that foxing and all that extra damage, whose fault is that? You're the one that's going to get punished. You can't return it at that point. Now, just imagine, like so many people do, they will just look at the front cover, and then they will say it looks good, send it in to get graded, expecting a 9.0, 9.2, maybe even a 9.6. This book would probably come back a 6, maybe a 6.5, because of all the damage on the back and all the damage, even though they're minor, in the center of the book in the pages. But most people don't look at that. And that is going to be something that turns your $200 book into a $75 book. Your $1,000 book into a $500 book. Now, of course, if you're buying this because you actually love it and you think it's a great read and you don't care about the condition, well, this isn't going to apply to you. But I'm talking about the hundreds, if not thousands of people that I see on a daily basis, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook or eBay or Craigslist or whatever website of people trying to sell you their comics. And you want to make sure you get what you pay for. Now, here's another thing that actually kind of is a thing that kind of peeves me a little bit. So let me put this back. And again, uh, oh, also one thing, make sure you wait until the end of the video because I always do a surprise subscriber shout out. You have to be a subscriber to be able to get that shout out. So that's easy. You just hit the surprise. The Well, you don't want to hit a surprise button. That would be weird. But you hit the subscribe button. And eventually, if you, especially if you leave enough comments or ask for one, you will get that shout out. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is my, well, this is my pet peeve. And I've seen this so many times, especially on eBay. Notice how I said in the beginning of this book how it looks nice and glossy and nice and shiny. Well, it didn't have that same kind of glossy effect when I took it out, did it? Why? Because a lot of, especially dishonest people, now of course not everybody, but a lot of dishonest people will put their comics specifically in Mylar's because look how glossy it looks. See how shiny it is? A new person might think that's the cover. It's not. It's the Mylar. And that is why, especially if I'm going to sell a book, or if I'm going to inspect a book, I don't put them in Mylar. I have a whole other reasons for that. I mean, why spend the extra money when it all depends on how you store books? I've had books that I've had since the 80s in their original bag and board that I bought. When I got them graded, they came back anywhere from 9.2s to 9.6s. So that's a whole other thing. But some people will put them in Mylar's because look at that gloss. Look at that shine. That's not on the comic. That's actually on the Mylar. And unfortunately, there are some people that will make their living being dishonest and deceiving people because they know most people will not, will not check. So especially if you're going to get your books graded, if you just check the front, if you just, just check the corners, if you just check the spine, you are doing about one-fifteenth of what needs to be checked. You need to make sure there's no coupons cut. You need to make sure both staples are attached and they are silver in color, that there are no foxing or bends, as you saw in a lot of pages on the inside. Those will affect the grade. So just imagine if you're one of those people or somebody convinced you that this on eBay or wherever was a 9.0 book, and you look at it when you get it and say, wow, look how shiny, look how beautiful. I'm going to send this right into whatever grading company. You don't check the rest of the book, and when you do your unboxing video, you all of a sudden end up with a 6.0, and you're shocked or even mad. And one of the biggest things I see, especially with newer books, somebody might even check the back of the book and say, all right, the back looks perfect. Let's just assume this is a newer book. And the back is completely white, looks gorgeous. The front is completely colorful, not a scratch to be found. So, oh, it's got to come back a 9.8. They don't bother to check the, the book because especially with some of these newer books, they have digital codes 
and I found this the hard way the years ago, that they will not end up giving it a qualified grade, but they will mention that it, if they, somebody took out the digital code, it will be mentioned on the slab. Because I found that with a, a uh, Edge of Spider-Verse 2, from, and I had it graded at CGC. It came back a 9.6, and it didn't have the green label. It did have the blue label. But they wrote in the information the description that it did not have it. And that could be the difference between somebody buying your book or somebody not buying, buying your book, or at the worst, spending less money on it. So you need to check the entire book. Unless you want to find out the hard way. And again, I see this all the time with newer people. And I've absolutely seen it with people who have been in the comic book collecting, whether it's a business or just a hobby. People that have been collecting comics for 30 years. I see them inspecting books all the time. There's a lot of stuff on the inside that's going to affect the grade of this book. So especially if you get something from eBay. Because if you've watched my videos, you've seen so many videos of people that package things so incorrectly that it's amazing some of them even arrive in one piece but there are dishonest people now again i'm not saying everybody some people just don't know but what irritates me the most is if i had a seller that sold me this book and they only showed the front picture and i end up taking it out of the book and i see all that foxing on the back and i send them a message and they reply with oh i didn't know well, they didn't know because they didn't bother to check or they're being dishonest. Now, you may never know. doesn't matter. The price I paid for this book made me not even care about the fact that there was stuff on there because I only paid $14 for this book. So I ended up, I don't know, I doubt that they showed me. I think this is one of those I took a chance on. But for $14, I didn't care. And this book still has potential. But if I was ever to sell it, I'm not just going to show the front picture. I'm going to show the back. I'm going to talk about all the things on the inside. Luckily, it doesn't have any coupons missing. But I'm sure you kind of get the point. And that's the difference between somebody that has a book that's a 9.0 and one that ends up a 6.0. Because I guarantee you, if somebody now that saw this entire book, before they were going to send this book in, they would have judged it by the cover and said, I am absolutely going to send this to whatever grading company to get it graded, would change their mind now that they know what's on the back. The problem's on the inside because it's going to be worth a heck of a lot less. Some people may turn around and say, you know what? I'm not even going to bother to send this one in. Some people might say, well, you know, I could press and dry clean some of that out. Foxing isn't going to get taken out by a dry cleaning. It may take away some of it, may make it a little faded, but it's definitely not going to get especially some of the deeper spots. Because like I said, that's basically bacteria eating away at the paper. So I hope videos like this help. Because I want to help people. This is not trying to point anybody out and saying, oh, you're doing a bad job at this stuff. It's pointing out things that sometimes we may take for granted or take advantage of. And unfortunately, a lot of times when you watch a YouTube channel, it's like anything in life. And that's why I always say be careful of the emotions. Because there's a thing called drowning a good intention. A lot of people sometimes watch videos because, yeah, they might be informative, but you tend to like or dislike somebody's personality. That's why you'll stay away from some people, and that's why you'll watch some people. Believe me, I know. There are a few people that just hate me, and no matter what I do, they're going to thumb down my video. It's That's on them, not on me. That's not what this video is about. But let's say there's somebody you trust, somebody you like. Now, they could have honestly maybe either did not know about this stuff, didn't care, or didn't think about it. And they do a video where they do an unboxing, and they show this book. Or they say, this is a book I'm about to get graded. And all they do is say, well, look how beautifully colorful this book is. There's a couple of little minor spiner ticks, but overall it looks good. I would say this book is going to come back a 9.0 to a 9.2. And especially somebody that's new, and because they like that person so much might just say, well, that's how you're supposed to grade them, so I'm going to do what that person did. And end up, they might have the same problem with another book. And because they weren't shown properly, whether that was intentional or unintentional, the right way to inspect an entire book, they could end up being really disappointed when they get the grades back. Or when they find out six or seven months later, when they change the bag and board, to find out it wasn't what you thought it was on eBay. So don't be afraid to ask questions, but do your own due diligence. I tell this to people on my channel all the time because 
whether somebody was purposely lying to you or just didn't know or just didn't care. You're the one that gets affected. You're the one that has a $50 book go down to a $15 book. And you can get your money back, but only if you do it in the right amount of time, which I cannot stress enough. Doesn't matter if it's somebody that you trust. Doesn't matter if it's somebody that's been collecting for 30 years. Doesn't matter if it's a local comic book store you bought it from. Because trust me, especially with local comic book shops, they have thousands upon thousands of books. There is no way in heck that they are going to open every single book and inspect every single page to make sure everything's there. So it's your job to make sure, because then you can get your money back. Or you can be another dishonest person and turn around to sell it to somebody else in hopes that they won't do what you should have done. So I hope this kind of video helps you. And if it does, please give it a thumbs up. I need the support. Please share this. Let other people know that this is how you inspect books. You want to check everything. You don't want to just look at the front of a cover. Share this with anybody on your social networks that you think this could help. And check your books, especially if you're about to get them graded, because you don't want to come back, have them come back and end up being disappointed. You want to basically say, all right, this is a 6.0. It's going to come back around the 6.0, and I'm okay with that. You don't want to be sending it saying this is a 9.0, only to find out it comes back a 6. That's a big drop. And if you look at the front cover, you're not going to be happy. And a lot of times people don't discover this stuff until they get it graded because that's when they are able to see the back of the book. And a lot of people I've seen on videos get very shocked when they didn't realize there's a stain on the back or there's bends and folds. It's because they didn't take the time. Now, if you're new, that's just a learning experience. But if it's somebody that's been doing it for 20, 30 years... You know, sometimes old habits die hard, and those will be the harder people to end up changing. But if you do, you're going to be much happier with your books. And that's what this is all about. And that's why it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Wait until the end so you can see who's the surprise subscriber shout-out. And we're going to do our little close-in and... Moon night, moon night.